Hey guys, Mr. Jager here, and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships Huzzah! Now, in today's episode, we're going to be dedicating some love to the battleships, as we've not really been doing them as of late, and I also kind of fancy playing some battleships today. So, the plan is, very, you know, very astute plan, we are going to be using our, utilizing this ship, the HMS Warspite, rather famous battleship in the British Navy, and have a game in her. Then we're going to have a game in the USS Arkansas. Now this is the Arkansas Beta. And if you've not seen this ship before. This ship is a reward ship. For those who participated in the Beta. For uh, World, World of Warships. The closed, um, the closed Beta. So if you don't have it. I don't know if they're ever going to give them out. I don't think they will. But it is pretty much the same as a Wyoming. It's not as good because... Um, the Wyoming does get anti-aircraft, whereas the Arkansas does not. It only gets um, extra guns, and like this, it's basically the same as a Wyoming, only with no anti-aircraft guns, which kind of sucks. But I guess they had to balance it somewhere. So my plan—that is my plan. And for a plan B, in case the first two battles don't go too well, we're going to nip over to the Congo, as uh, I haven't utilized this ship in a fairly long while. So without further ado. Let's jump into a game with the HMS Warspite. I'll see you on the field. And we're back. I'm going to load armor piercing on the HMS Warspite. So we're on the map Hotspot. Now, I don't believe I've actually sailed in this map before. So this should be interesting. The Warspite, of course, is the Tier 6 British battleship. A premium battleship, I should say. Um, and unfortunately, is no longer available for sale. Um, I don't know why they removed her. I don't know if she is. I'm, I'm, I believe I remember because they took her off the um, sales thing for some reason. But obviously, to those who kept, who bought her beforehand, you kept her. Now she's not like overpowered because um, she's well, she was like one of the fastest, like turn, most maneuverable battleships um, in the game until they introduced the American battleships uh, because that was just you know that's that's how the British Allied stuff goes. And as for a battleship, she is nice. <laughs> I mean, uh, she's very maneuverable. Her guns are pretty freaking awesome. They aren't as, like, long range as the Japanese. They sort of, if you will, they... It has a fair, fairly... Uh, there are a few traits of America in there when it comes to utilizing this ship. So, as for the, for those who sort of prefer to use the Japanese ships, you may not find, if, you, if, if she ever becomes available, or if she is still available, you may not find that she is, um, like, the best for your kind of tastes, but you can, um, you can find that, you will find that, um, if you are an experienced American battleship veteran, and you enjoy utilizing the close sort of brawlingness about her, also her abilities to take the incoming damage, that sort of thing, then, um, definitely, definitely, she is your girl. The guns are pretty damn good as well. Accurate, quite accurate, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really sailed her since the latest patches have gone through like the last time i sailed her this was before a number of patches went through so for like what um we could expect i am unfortunately not really certain of what to expect when going into this particular thing i'm gonna kind of kind of be a bit risque i'm actually gonna tell my guns to go the other way now this is the downside of the um the battleship is that her guns take an extremely long time to turn now, I imagine there's an equipment slot, which I think you can buy, but um, it once again, it, it's it's rather expensive, and if you want to try, if you're not in a position where you can just buy lots and lots of stuff. Uh, oh, I've been detected, so unfortunately my ability to hide has been negated once more, but oh well, say la vie. Trying to get into position. She's not the fastest of ships. I'm not going to lie. She's not the fastest. This is the thing about Japanese ships versus the Americans and um, the Allied, I would say. Is that the speed of the... It's not really the speed that matters for them sometimes. It's more the amount of guns you've got. And personally, I don't mind going slow. I mean, it's nice going fast. Don't get me wrong. Getting above 25, 30 knots is a good thing to have. But... <laughs> at the same time... You know, it's like... Hmm... I do have the spotter plane, but I don't want to utilize it yet because we've only just come into the engagement range of some things and we don't know what's there. So I might try and go into a position. Now, 
I have learnt a few things since pl starting to play this game a little bit more seriously. Ah, there's the destroyers. So, there was a destroyer inbound. Turned a little hard to port. And... Stop. We can s kind of calmly capture this area. There is a destroyer about, which is worrying. So I imagine he's probably like there-ish. Oh, and someone's already tried to pop shot. So there is someone there, and there is a Colorado. So, boya. And now I'm going to break off. Now you do lose a lot of speed when you're going into a turn. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to present my side on, which means the enemy can potentially pen me. But the sort of handy thing about losing so much speed is that you make your opponents misjudge your shot range. There you are, you son of a bitch. I've only got armor piercing. God damn it. Oh, bollocks. I did not mean to hit that button. God damn it. I meant to say target that guy, but bollocks, 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 bollocks. Right, well, there goes an expensive thing that won't work. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well done, Crab Hunter. Your abilities to screw up have once again prevailed. <laughs> Yay, I guess. Oh, the Ayoba is dodging, and he is one jammy bugger. <laughs> what a dodge. Oh, I should have paid more attention. Yeah, that's a Citadel hit. Jesus Christ. Oh, hello, Congo. I think I'll focus on the Pensacola, I'll be honest with you. Turn a little bit. Is he even... I don't know how fast he's going, but he's not going so far. See, now it would have been really useful to use one of those power-up abilities, but because my brain said, nope, hit the T button. No, I, I don't know how to do it then. Fair enough. Oh, bugger off, you little shits. I would like to know where the hell our support is, but oh well. I've got like 35 seconds before I can try and repair it. Let's try and help these guys a little bit. There's a through attacker. Enemy, C, enemy forces have captured C. The Aoba is going to get some shots into this. Luckily though, it's not too bad. I'm going to pop some shots. I have no idea how fast that Colorado's going, but generally speaking, that ain't fast. Right, let's angle a little bit, and then I can actually use my active thing for the first time. And we've lost, I think, all of our destroyers, which is not looking good. So this game is not looking very favorable right now. But we have now finally got the ability to reuse that, and I will have to use that now. So, a bit of a mistake there. Guns reload. He's almost going to get away with this, I think. But if we're lucky, we might just catch him. We might over-penetrate, but at the same time, I have a, I have got high explosive. Ooh, that could be a good hit. That could be a good hit. Nope, they all fucking miss. <laughs> GG. That's what you want to hear, isn't it? All your guns are just missing for no reason. Yay. Like you saw, they were virtually on target, but at the last moment, the shells are like, Ooh, let's miss. One of those hit on the enemy team. Okay, let's see if we can get this Aoba. Give some, give him some jolly old good revenge. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Furutaka. I realize you're there. Right, we'll then switch to... Let's yeah, turn, 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 turn. Slow down, slow down. Turn me. Yes! <laughs> yes, that is it. One hit. We fuck over half your health. Yes, I actually did something. Thank the Emperor. <laughs> Did we sink that other ship, or did he get out of sightline? He got out of sightline. Okay. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Luckily, though, I think he tried to use armor piercing, but it didn't seem to work for him too well. And there's the other guy. Let's turn to go to third speed, maybe. Can Will that hit? I don't know. I hit. No, they don't hit. Why? Why am I not surprised? But I have contributed a fair amount to destroying that little bastard. That probably won't go in. But there is a Congo. But we have sunk one of their ships now. Well, we've sunk a few of them, actually, to say the least, but still. Uh, no, I didn't think those would actually hit. All right, let's use our spotter plane. Provide some extra support, spotting support. See if we can get this. give this Congo 
uh, a little bit of taste his own jolly old medicine yes how fast is he sailing is he dead in the water he is actually dead in the water what is he doing like i realize i'm not the best when it comes to world of warships but you do not sit in the water like that because people will look at you and be like oh look a battleship that isn't moving are you looking at me? I can't tell. That's the only downside with this view, is it's very much on the top. Oh, really? He's not moving! How could they have missed? RNG, you son of a bitch. Like, is he moving? No, he's not, because the shells... Tell you what. Oh, is he actually turning? Is that why? I'd be impressed if that was the case. But, there. Yeah. I don't think we're going to win this one, unfortunately, but... I mean, come on. He must be moving, because, like, I, I aimed at his, uh, his bow section. So he must be moving. Yet now he's bloody moving. It's just for some reason I can't see his smokestack. Right. Well, that would explain a few things, then. Bit annoying that I, you know, can't understand why the hell he's not working until eventually... It's, oh, wait. Now he decides he wants to move. Right. Firefly. Right, well this game it looks like it is pretty much boned, but we shall fight on. Oh, those might hit. They might hit. And they do in fact hit. One of them does actually hit. And of course the usual You idiot players, morons, and you know, all the usual ragers who, you know, die and stuff like that. So, yeah, I appreciate the game is not looking very good for you, but raging at the team. Unless they've done some really stupid shit. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm an angel for it. I, on occasions, do also have a go at the team if they are exceptionally bad. But on this occasion, we aren't doing that bad, you know. Like, we've killed a number of their ships. We're prioritizing, admittedly, a... Ah, oh, damn. Right, there's a Colorado over there, so we can try and see if we can pop a shot. Have we actually sunk? No, that was one of ours. Right, okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Like, I've only done two hits so far with this thing. Slightly disappointing, to say the least. Yeah, we are now getting completely dominated. The enemy is about to win. Not exactly, but you never know. We are prioritizing a bit too many of their one targets, though. Oh, come on. One hit? Oh, boy. This is where I kind of hope that we can dodge these. Okay, I don't think we're going to hit them. Right. Okay, thank the Emperor. They actually were out of range. <laughs> For a second there, I'm like, hmm. Okay, he is on the move, so we can actually tell he's on the move. Oh, and he's looking at me, isn't he? Yep. This is going to sting. Oh, miss, 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 miss. Oh, he missed all of them, thank the Emperor. And I might miss. No, I don't. I get two hits. Huzzah. It's not doing too bad, to be honest with you. This game isn't looking good, but we can, we can, you know, we'll try. Like, I, There is no way we're going to win this one. That's for certain. You know, we'd, there is no way we're going to win this. But if I can do some damage, get some revenge. We did a nice spread on the... Oh, what was it, the Aoba? Yeah, we, def we definitely did a hit on the Aoba. How is that looking? That could hit. I could hit. I could hit. And another. Oh, no, we get hit. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, though. Utilizing a battleship, I feel... I, I, I will not lie. I do enjoy using cruisers more now. More so than la more lately. You know, it's only lately that I've really started to enjoy utilizing uh, cruisers. I am going to go broadside on because he is slightly better in range. And ironically, I think I can judge the distances between him, so... I know it's armor-piercing, and I know I've only been firing armor-piercing for this entire game, but you can't really tell. Oh, they might hit. I think they might hit, and... Yes! See what I mean? You see what I mean? <laughs> Let's keep our ships alive for as long as humanly possible, shall we? The enemy team has taken the lead. You don't fucking say. Like, what, what was that gave it the way? The fact that they're controlling all of the points or the fact that we're, that we're losing a lot of ships right now? It's like, hmm, I wonder what's causing it. Right, now this is kind of the part where I really start to suck at World of Warships because I can't tell. Uh, I think I will go for him. 
I'm probably going to miss rather poorly. But, oh no, we got their ship though. That's good. We got him. Oh, and I think the Colorado might get hit by my shells. Yes, he does. One hit. But unfortunately, I don't... Oh, he's using yourself repair ability. That's why. Okay, we've got a Minikaze over there. So we're probably going to lose this relatively soon. He's probably looking... He's still looking at that other one, which, to be honest with you... Oh no, we've denied them a kit. We've killed one of their dudes, so we've denied them something. So we're not... This, bit, this defeat probably isn't going to be so bad. We're not going to win, but it's not bad. Right, pop a shot. Hopefully these work. He can beat me in the sense of speed, but I can also do a fair amount of damage to him. That was a good hit. Might as well use this last repair thing so we don't have to pay so much towards repairing it. Bonuses, of course, of utilizing a premium ship is the fact that A, I don't think it costs too much to fix anyway, and B, um, you're going to be getting a fair amount of money. Oh, okay. That was slightly newer than I remembered. Now, will this last salvo of shells hit into the enemy's thing? No, it won't. <laughs> Damn it, that one guy had a job. And he didn't do it. <laughs> oh, well. That said, though, not bad. You know, for a battleship scrub like myself, I didn't do too bad. Admittedly, it was 12 hits, but we got two citadels, uh, a lot of incapacitations, and we assisted in a base capture. Uh, for experience, I got about higher than half, which is better than nothing, I suppose. Um... Or if we have a look at these scoring output, I didn't do too bad. The enemy team obviously had a lot of guys who scored above a thousand points, but that's what happens when you have uh, a defeat on that thing. But that, all that said, not bad. What at all? Not that bad at all. You know, for me, I'm happy with that. We lost, yes, but at the same time, we oh, we lost, yes, but we did a good job. Or at least I, I, we, we, did, we all did a good job. Like we, considering the circumstances, we did the best as job as we could. So. Kudos to our opposing team, and kudos to our team as well. Right, I've just slurped my coffee. I'm feeling energetic. Let us jump into a battle with the Arkansas. <coughs> and now you get to hear me cough. <coughs> Apologies. Um, everyone's been going around the loogies, and I'm having a horrible feeling that I might catch them soon. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, if you guys are also, and if any of you guys watching this are War Spite owners, um, shout out, see if anyone's around for who shares the love of the War Spite, because I, I like it. It's not just the fact that it's British, it's the fact that it's a battleship. I do like battleships, you know? It's not like I don't like them, it's just, um, in this game, I don't think I perform as well in a battleship, um, than I used to in the earlier beats. Like, when I was in a battleship earlier on, I used to do pretty well. Like, I used to come out of a game relatively well, like a couple of kills. You know, I could enjoy a couple of good kills, and I would be able to enjoy them. Nowadays, I actually do better in cruisers, which is why I'm really loving the Kohlbergs and the um, uh, Omahas and stuff, because they are just absolutely fantastic. I suck in the sense that I keep charging into the fray and doing an absolute... Uh, doing damage, yes, but then getting completely ripped apart myself. That's the part of me that I need to figure out how to not do. Because I go all battleship on people. I'm like, ah, give me out of me. And everyone's just like, look, there's that one guy who's gone out into the field. Got, you know, shooting our mate. He killed three of our guys, but there's like ten of us now. Versus one of him. <sighs> and we are on the New Dawn map. The uh, early tier maps, I would imagine. We've got aircraft carriage, which is not good. I wouldn't have minded the other game. You know, I wouldn't have minded having the other stuff, but oh well. So, the Arkansas. The Wyoming class battleship, which looks slightly different. It's a little slow, lower to the ground, which is kind of nice, I suppose. But one of its major selling points for me is the fact of the guns. I mean, holy shit, you've got one, two... Three, four, five, six, six dual-barreled 305 millimeter cannon. That's a lot. And if you can get a close enough and successful barrage on someone, like if you get a good barrage on, say, a battleship or a cruiser that can be penned and it won't, like, overpen, um, then you will kill them. <laughs> it is as simple as a one-shot, which is what I love. I do love this ability to do that. Now, obviously, it's not all singing and dancing. Um, the range of the American battleships, especially early tier, isn't what you would call the best. 
Um, arguably, you could call it kind of shit for a tier um, for certain ships. Though that said, the Kawachi and the Miyogi have actually... I don't know if the Miyogi is as bad, but the Kawachi has a very, very bad range. Like, originally the Kawachi was a pretty de fairly decent battleship, but I imagine because it was so... Um, this is probably not going to do a single absolute nothing, but I don't care! I can fire my guns! <laughs> Give him something to think about. Nah. I, pr I so totally over preempted that. Lol. Okay, that was a bad decision. I oh, screw it. I'm, a, I'm in my premium ship. I do love this ship. I don't care. I can fire this thing all day and I'd be like, I don't care. <laughs> Sir, we missed three out of our seven virages. <laughs> I don't care. How much does it cost to get the shells? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, once again, not a very fast ship. The allied side of shipping is not what you would call uh, high speeds. Though that said, um, well, apart from the cruisers and the s destroyers, yeah, ba battleships in general, um, allied battleships in general, I don't think we have very fast stuff. Though that said, I'd like to see if the French would be... Ooh, that guy got hit. I would like to see if the French have any um, influence in this game. Not because they've got influence in World of Tanks, but also because they did have a navy. Albeit, there was no... Um, there was no real influence during the Second World War in real life, but they did have a navy. Whilst we're on the way to combat, I might as well tell you a random story. During the early, during the initial stages of the German invasion of France, um, there was a sort of a fear that the Germans might gain control of the French navy, which is why Churchill um, ordered that the French navy either join up with um, the British navy, or scuttle their own ships to um, avoid them ha ha bringing up, handing over to uh, the Germans. And the French, I, don't, I can't remember the commanders, I don't remember the names, I'm afraid, but what I do remember is the fact that the, the French commanders, or the French, you know, and admirals, is like, um, look, I don't want to give you, oh, I'm, you know, I've got orders to keep my ships in French hands, because at that point, France hadn't completely surrendered yet. So, um, it ended up with um, the French saying no to the British forces, and because uh, Churchill and mo loads of, you know, during all that time, loads of people were still kind of, um, let's see if we can try and pop a shot. We're not going to do anything, but at the same time, if we do, that would be impressive. There we go, right. So anyway, um, why? We, none of us have gone down to the uh, sea line. This is not good. I would have thought someone would have gone down... Right. Anyway, so the French. This was the, so this on this on this particular occasion, the um, this was the one of the first sort of rare incidences where the French were being fired at by British um, Navy because Churchill was like, look, we don't, we can't guarantee that they're gonna be able to scuttle their ships by the time the Germans arrive. So by all means, um, ooh, that's a fairly nice damage there. That's all good. Ah, shit. Let's let's slow down the ship, shall we? Uh, so by the time, so basically, the British Navy were, received the orders from Churchill to open fire on the French Navy, and they did a lot of damage and killed a number of French soldiers. But the irony was the fact that later on in the war, when the Germans did finally come over to say, "Okay, let's have your ships, please," the French Navy, sir, the French Navy, um, the the guys in the Navy did scuttle their own ships anyway, so the Germans couldn't get access to them anyway. And so it's kind of a bit of a bit. A number of French people still have a bit of resentment. Um, still have a bit of resentment to the British for firing on the French Navy because they're like, look, we did it anyway, so why the hell did you still shoot? So, a little history lesson for you there. Oh, he's just out of my range. Is he? Yeah, he is. But he looks like he's going to get back in. So we shall see. Oh, he's going to turn completely in, so that's completely pointless there. Yep. Oh, alas. Well, if we capture C, then we can equalize the points. And if we can kill more of them than they can kill of us, once again, we can equalize the points. Though the Kohlberg is... There are a bunch of enemy ships coming in the way. There is an enemy Wyoming. So I need to, hopefully... If I could pop this guy if I sail slightly... I mean, I am, I am making the mistake of broadsiding on. Oh, he's turning. Never mind. Uh, might steer in this guy. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. 
So if I shoot, because I know it's not going to penetrate, or at least I don't think it will penetrate until now, we might get a cheeky couple of shots in there. They do look like they're going to hit. Yeah, four hits. That's a good hit. I'm happy with that. So, game is not looking exceptionally good. I'm going to be a bit of a douchebag and see if we can try and pop shots in. Oh, it's only two. Oh, come on. Citadel penetration. Nah. 830 damage. I am happy with that. Oh, he's yangling again. This probably isn't going to do anything, but why the hell not? And oh, we got, enemy team has taken we the got a couple. And, of course, no one going up to the north means that we are probably going to lose this one. Oh, joy. Don't you just love it when that happens? Right. And, of course, now the spam starts to hit me. Which I'm not surprised of. Ooh, that was a pen. So you guys are still aiming for that. Right, we're going to have the entire thing going to be like that. Now, can I hit? Can I get some hits? Can I get some hits? Yes! And, of course, the Mamansk gets in my way, slowing me down. But, luckily, I actually think that helps because the Mamansk is going to take some punishment. No, he doesn't. Never mind. Right, I think we've sunk one of their battleships. I don't know. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Turn, 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 turn. Come on, 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 come on. There we go, 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 there we go. Right. We have a Königsberg over there. And now we have unspotted a load of things. The enemy are going to undoubtedly be going there, so I'm going to try and get out of here as fast as humanly possible. I also imagine we're going to be spotting a few things. It's not looking too good for this battle. I'm a little annoyed at the team for not... Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Anyway. I'm a little annoyed at the team for not sending at least one... The one ship. Or at least a DD to go over to the A point. Because... You know, going down on all of one flank, I admit I wasn't paying too much attention to that before, but it, you know, like, with all due respect, if you're going with battleships, you know, you, you, you want to go with a battleship crew, because that way you can provide support, because a battleship on its own is dead. It's, it's, it's completely suicidal on more, you know, on multiple, on no, most more, more normal occasions, it's kind of suicide to be a battleship going out after one target. Right, we're going to have to do a 180 now. Can I get some shots in? I do. Not doing much damage, unfortunately, but... Oh, shit. Moderate damage, moderate damage. He does hit me. Time to activate that crew bonus. We're trying to do what we can to get into position. Oh, Konigsberg. I just about saved my ass from that. Oh, the Congo looks like it's going to get a nasty set of torpedoes in his ass, which is nice. I'm happy with that. And three torpedoes make a dramatic impact on that. Right. Now that we're in position, let's see if we can get this Königsberg. Fortunately, the Königsberg is providing some decent quality anti-aircraft support over there. And this is where the range of the American battleship starts to suffer a bit, because obviously... We might... No, we're not going to get that. <laughs> no, sir. We shall not get that. Right. And boom. Actually, no. We did. We hit one hit. I will take that one hit. I'm actually going to be a bit of a cheeky bastard. And I'm going to try and see if I can capture C for the team, if we can. Not to say that that's going to do anything to dramatically affect our win. But you never know. Right. The Congo is reversing. I don't think we're going to get a chance to shoot at anything before we get into the island range, which does mean, of course, we can just dedicate more of our time to focusing. Turning into combat. Oh, I don't know. We could potentially get a shot in on the Königsberg. Let's see. We do. We kind of do. It's not going to hit, but we kind of do. We are detected once more, and I think we've just sunk one of their battleships, which is good. So this fight isn't going as badly for us as previously, but I am going to try and see if we can capture one of these areas. And if we can keep sinking their stuff, it doesn't matter if they've got two points above us, as long as we keep sinking their stuff and avoiding casualties in return, we could do it. There is a Kuma over there that is taking some fire, but unfortunately, and we got him, and we sunk two of their ships as well. We just lost one of ours, though, which is not good at all. But if we can just sail, if I can just get this damn thing to go fast enough. 
Moosh! Moosh! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There is a Congo over there who is pretty much full health, which is not good. Right, let's capture this objective, shall we? Königsberg is taking a lot of fire. Königsberg's a tier 5, right? Yeah, Königsberg is the tier 5. So if we can try and capture this area as fast as humanly possible. And there is the Langley. And he's sailing straight into my line of fire. I am going to prioritize the Langley because, of course, air enemy aircraft will give, our car will give our carriers not so pleasant a surprise. If we could try and deny how much they get versus how much we get, that would be nice. Uh, I'm going to think about, say, here-ish. And someone's got a Confederate medal. I think I preempted that a little too much. Oh, no, no, no. I might get a few of it. Yes, we do. That is in. Huzzah. We actually got a decent hit in. If we can sink a carrier. That's like worth... Uh, 60 minus 65 for them, which will mean good things. It does mean good things. Now, of course, he's going to be taking a shit ton of punishment. So by the time my shells go in there, there's no guarantee that we're going to do anything. But we're not in range of anything else, so sod it. And give me a kill, boy. Yes! Right, now let's get to... Right, so we need to get over to B ASAP. Right, what we'll do is we'll get near... Uh, right, what I'll do is I'll provide fire support. I'll try and provide fire support. Okay, he's trying to do evasive maneuvers whilst I try and get into B. We need to capture B as soon as possible. Oh, I do get a hit. I do get a hit, which is nice. So this game is probably going to be the last game of the episode because this is going to be quite a lengthy one. We do need to recapture the B point as they are still getting more points than we are. And unfortunately, that thing is out of my range. We got a ship, though. That's No, that's their carrier. Fantastic. Right. Battle ends in five minutes. Oh, guys, this is getting really, really, really te tense now because we, like, I can't shoot at them anymore. And I'm trying to desperately sail across the sodding rocks. It's like, come on, you fat American piece of garbage. Sorry, that's just a personal thing of mine. It's not spelt with two O's. It's spelt with one. I know I, it's, a, it's a continual argument. Many, many people will probably have a go at me for it. But anyone who spelt lose with two O's is like, no, that means you've got a loose rope. And it's not loose. It's loose. Anyway, sod you, Mr. Wyoming. Oh, that'll be nicely. Oh, hell yeah. Right, so now we've got the BB. He is going to be pretty much broadside, and as long as I... S I'm going to slow down, in fact. Slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Going to half speed so I can guarantee some shells. He is still engaging the other guy, but my reload is now good. He is in my sights. I can pretty much lock him down. Have a bit of that, you son of a bitch. And blah, 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 blah. Five hits. I've locked him down. I, I have him. Like, I'll do what I can, or as much as I can, to keep that bastard as, away from him. The Congo made a big mistake in trying to disengage. Because now he's basically... We basically... Th we've, com we've completely... I think we might just win this. Not a bad turnaround, I will say. 
little early on the shells, but you never know. Right. Just slow down. Stop, 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 stop. Not saying all Congos are cowards. Just some of them. Feuer frei! Am I gonna ninja the kill? You bet I do! <laughs> oh, shit. And he was in a Miyogi as well. <laughs> that was a good this is a good win a good salvo oh wait no got about a minute and 37 seconds to kill him. I can't do anything at the moment. I don't think, I don't think we will, unless, I, th I, 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 I don't recall it, it might be, I could be completely wrong. I Our victory is in sight. Fire! Can I get a last salvo? Probably not. Well, you never know. Ah, oh, the shell was like a millimeter off. It was a millimeter off. God dang it. Oh, apparently I caused damage. But that said, we won. Ah, oh, what a winner. Woohoo! So there's a good game for you. One bad game, one good game. We have... Uh, 43 hits, 2 incapacitations, 2 kills, 1 citadel, a captured base, and assisted in capturing. Definitely did a damn good job. Also, what the fuck? Why did the Miyogi not get more? What? Oh. You see the Miyogi? Excuse me. The Miyogi should have got more because he did a shit ton and survived. I mean, come on. He had 2 battleships on his ass and fought off a number of other things. I'm afraid I don't know what went on, but he should have gotten higher experience than that. Should have been. I'm happy where I'm at, but I think the amounts could, should be down where the Miyogi was. Because the Miyogi fucking tanked that royally. Anyhow, um, going, on to the going on to the things. Uh, Armor-piercing shells. Not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> didn't do anything else. Like I know, you, I know it's a good idea to keep swapping out between ammunition. But here's the thing. Not every time... It's not, it's not easy to swap out ammunition... On the fly as much as for example say a cruiser has because a cruiser you can swap out ammunition on the fly no matter what you do battleship not so much so damage and experience we've received uh i kind of did a tiny amount of ramming damage technically speaking because of a max just jumped into my way and we okay did i just what uh is that because of the bonuses <laughs> I'm just like, oh, 111, yes. One million. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay. Oh, it's probably because of the experience. No, no. I, how the fuck did I get a million for that? Eh? Okay. Have I, like, received a million? Yeah, I've received a million. <laughs> it's probably because of the mission objectives. What was my... Oh, no. Bloody hell. Right, what was my mission objectives? <laughs> 
Uh, challenges? Have I completed them then? Uh, oh, I see. So I, I got something. I got something. I, I, I don't know. I got a million now. Well, hey! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Love for the battleships. It does exist. Uh, not as much fun, I'm not going to lie, as, say, a cruiser would be. Uh, I don't know why, but a cruiser for me is something which is absolutely hilariously awesome. But that said, battleships still do have a place in my heart. And the guns of the Wyomi, god damn it, I love them. I absolutely love them. It's the best thing ever. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like this kind of content, do let me know in the comment section down below, clicking on the like button, and of course, subscribing to the channel. And I will catch you guys next time. This is Mr. Eggert signing out.